what is up everyone my name is james livingston back here again on this beautiful thursday august 22nd going over the market here uh trying to let you guys know exactly what i'm thinking as far as you know where we're at price action wise where we could head um etc cetera, etc cetera. so yesterday you know talking about spy here we were uh thinking that possible reversal could be in play uh with a push to the upside sweep of the highs push to the lows um, which we did just that, you know, in the morning time, SPY really did actually push to the highs, swept them, and then pushed and swept the lows. It really knocked out both bulls and bo uh, and bears yesterday, uh, but then ultimately did reverse to the upside pretty aggressively uh, from about, what is it, like noon? From about noon until really the end of the day, 3 p.m., um, just had an absolute terror from 558 up to just about 562, so a nice $4 push there in those uh, four, three, four hours. Um, so overall, you know, SPY is showing some, some good strength. We kind of anticipated that we would at least test the upside. Um, I thought it would be in the morning time and then push back down. I didn't really anticipate us to push back up again later on in the day, uh, but these things happen. So as we look at this, a nice clean chart right here, still have this gap up here. We are in the middle of filling at the moment. Um, we are in pre-market right now technically we have i believe filled this gap uh so it's gonna be interesting to see how this thing uh decides to play out here this morning i think we have like 70 more cents to go up to just about that 563 mark and then we can potentially see the push back uh, to the downside so already kind of filling that gap up it'll be interesting to see what happens this morning i don't believe we have any kind of news coming out this morning let me just double check here Looks like on Thursday, okay, yeah, we do actually have jobless claims this morning. Um, I know that last time we got the jobless claims report, this uh, this is what started the whole push here. Uh, that's what created, I believe, this gap right here last week <clears throat> was the jobless claims report. So it'd be very interesting to see if it has an opposite effect um, in terms of gapping us up and then potentially... Uh, filling it back down you know we do have those all-time highs sitting right up here at about 565 um, I do anticipate that we probably can touch those today uh, if not get close to them but once we get up there is where I'm not too 100% sure I don't think we're gonna just blast through the all-time highs um, and, and push forward even though this is a very strong reversal that we're having right now I do think that the the pullback here that we need to be completely honest is coming up soon so I wouldn't get wrapped up too much in bull positions um, this morning here on Thursday. So levels wise, if we're just simply looking at it, obviously, like I said, we have the top side level up at 565. If we wanted another one to really look for that we need a break about above, we're kind of stuck to these daily levels now at this point just because of the push up that we had uh, overnight. So this wick from over here, you can see, excuse me, wicked out at 563.67. I would anticipate that that might be the next resistance for us to go and touch. Um, the opening candle uh, of this day back here was about 462.80. Could also possibly see uh, a little bit of hesitation around that range as well. So there on the 15 minute, we have a couple of levels marked out. Again, we have 565 way up there. Uh, but right now, I wouldn't really touch this thing long until we push back above uh, pretty much 563 563 uh, otherwise I would just hang tight and wait to see you know the market present an actual opportunity because right now I think that the risk to reward isn't really there as far as downside you know we have this this kind of level here that rejected off of multiple times obviously we have the wick up here you could use that I would more so be more inclined to look at this 561 uh, looks like 561 20 um level here where we had the rejection in the morning we pushed up we had the rejection in the afternoon we hadn't been able to break it above it in the after hours until pre-market today and now we're starting to level off on it downside wise i think that we have a little bit of a level down here at 559.74 to possibly pull back towards um if not break below that area so that's what i got for spy there guys uh let's check out qqq and delete some of this stuff here um qqq similar story you know a nice push up qqq didn't quite sweep the lows um as much as as uh, spy did so if you look at it on the 15 minute time frame it did push down below pre-market lows um but it, it didn't really pull down too too heavy uh, but similar price action 
to spy uh, looks like we are heading up towards that i had mentioned about that 4440 uh, before we are currently at that area in pre-market right now had a slight push above it rejection here this morning overall levels for this one now with qqq the gap uh that also was on spy is actually a little bit further up here so i think we do have some more room to continue up here um, now most of the time before we get to the gap as i've said before you'll have that first gap test which in this case is about 488 um, 30 ish, you know, wherever the topic on this is 488.80. Um, actually, no, the open, sorry, the open of this candle here was 488.30. So 488.30 would be my level here. I think the opening of this candle can hold some resistance. Um, and then, you know, we have that push up to up into the mid 490s. On the 15 minute time frame, again, just looking at simply levels here. I would probably give a similar level as we had on SPY. It's going to be a little bit lower, it looks like here, um, at about 482.73. <clears throat> really wouldn't touch this one short until we break down below that 482.70.60 area. Um, so we can get a full confirmation under a 20 MA, under a 60 MA, um, you know, just pushing to the downside. As far as upside, like we had mentioned, we have that 488 level up there. As long as we break and hold over yesterday's highs, I think QQQ can continue running. Um, at this point, I guess you could put a level at about 484.60 uh, for a break and continuation there. Uh, downside wise, if we do break below this 482.74, it's a good chance we go down and retest this 481.40 area, uh, maybe even as far down as 481 flat. But yeah, that's what I got on, on uh, QQQ there. Looking over here at IWM. Um, so yesterday we did identify that we were in this kind of gap uh, here uh, from, from prior. You know, we have this gap that we're starting to fill up. We're continuing to fill it up. Yesterday we identified that we might have, you know, that Fibonacci retracement right here in this golden zone. As you can see, it matches up perfectly. Um, that we are we're still trading within that golden zone even with the gap up in the uh, aftermarket um, or sorry the after hours and the uh, pre-market here we're sitting at about 215.80 which is just about right here so we are still within the zone until we get above about 216.30 i'm not really worried about this i think that there's still that opportunity um, especially with SPY getting close to its all-time highs, that as soon as that rejects, we could possibly see some relative uh, or sympathy, you know, push back on uh, IWM. Now, again, this is all speculation. You know, at the end of the day, these things can just keep going, and I, I'm not, I'm not a, a magician. I can't, you know, set, tell it exactly how it is. But using some context clues that we have here, um, you know, bulls are still very much in control. We're over the 20 EMA. There's really no reason to look short on this. I'm just offering a suggestion based on what I've seen in the past. But it's very likely that we could also just continue right back up into the 220s here and fill up most of this, you know, breakdown candle that we had um, that has a whole, whole lot of open liquidity from 223.70, you know, down here to 217. Um, so there is very much chance there that we could push higher especially if the overall market is just green um, today now levels wise um, we identified yesterday that level at about 214.50 you can see that as soon as we came up to it we rejected off of that multiple times yesterday we identified that based on this wick here this top wick as well as these two bottom wicks from um, what would it have been Tuesday I think it was um, <clears throat> or sorry Monday and then Tuesday, and then yesterday, Wednesday, and now we're starting to see that we're settling above that 214.50 level. For me, that is starting to turn um, things bullish on the shorter time frames. So it would be ideally looking at more upside here, um, at least to that 216.30 level. So I'm going to put a marker on 216.30, um, and then as far as as far as upside, I really. At this point where we're at position wise it wouldn't touch it until we do break above that 216.30 with some strength um, as far as downside i think at this moment you can ideally look for a little bit of downside under 215.50 um, but realistically i'd really like to see the breakdown here at 215 flat i think that can bring us that 240 14.50 quick if not 214 flat um, so that's what i got for iwm there Overall, though, all the ETFs um, are looking still fairly strong, you know, aside from that one down day we had. 
uh, which I think, again, was more of a cool-off day, especially after a run-up. You almost need those. Now, one of the stocks I'm going to talk about here, I know I talk about NVIDIA a lot, but something I just want to show you is, um, obviously, we, we had filled completely filled that gap back here that we were talking about prior, from right here to right here. And we partially filled it the first time, got rejected, pushed back down. Now we filled it, and we're starting to settle above it. Now, something to look at here, I don't know why that just pushed that all the way up there. Something to look at here um, is we have a double inside setup. So usually with these double inside setups, we're going to have some volatility to follow. So what, it, what an inside setup is, I, I mentioned it yesterday on NVIDIA, where yesterday's, uh, or sorry, Tuesday's candle was an inside candle. We didn't break the high of Monday's candle. We didn't break the low of Monday's candle. Now, Wednesday, we have another inside candle. So we have a double inside setup, which means there's a lot of consolidation. You can see here, even on the, the four hour time frame, you know, lots of consolidation right there usually leads to a break. It just depends on if it breaks the high of day from the prior day or the low of day to signal the direction of the volatility. On the four hour, we can already see in pre market here, we're up $1.50. The, the bulls are definitely pushing this one up. And as long as NVIDIA is pushing, I do believe the market will continue to also push. Um, NVIDIA holds a lot of weight in the market. Um, so as long as they are going up, I do believe the market will also continue to go up. So like I say, you can see here 1.30 in the morning. <clears throat> 1.30 1 is what we're at here this morning. That is already above Monday's high. Um, so there's a very good chance, in my opinion, um, that we could see, you know, as high as the two, uh, 134, maybe even with enough strength up to about 136 um, sometime the end of this week here, as long as strength can, continues on NVIDIA. Levels uh, for NVIDIA right now, we're in kind of uncharted territories uh, in terms of, you know, because we broke over yesterday's highs already. Definitely want to see yesterday's highs get held as a support, so 129.35, I would like to see that be held. So even if we have a pullback, wouldn't like to see it go under it too much. We can probably go down and retest that trend line we just talked about, um, you know, on that trend line and still be safe. But ideally, 129.35 should be held um, for continuation. As far as upside, at this moment, you're looking at about 130.4 for upside movement. Um, and then, like I said, we have the upside targets, 134, 136. Um, if it really wants to go, which I know Nvidia likes to likes to rip, um, so definitely want to keep it on your on your watch list. Downside: if we do break a 129.35, I think we'll go back down to about 128.50 next. Essentially, the close of yesterday. Um, I think we'll go down and test that first, and then there, that opens up the door potentially uh, to go back down to the lower 128s, if not further down. So. Um, that's what I got there on NVIDIA, uh, but I just want to give you guys a general idea there of what I'm looking at because those double inside setups are immaculate. Those, those are like the ones you want to trade um, because they come with volatility after a breakout. I'm going to check on AMD here for a second. So AMD is one of those stocks that I was looking at um, that I just wanted to, uh, we had that rejection on Tuesday, which signaled to me that there was a chance for a potential pullback. Now, with this kind of candle that we just had yesterday uh, on Wednesday, you know, we didn't close, we didn't go lower than Tuesday's low. Uh, we didn't even really get down close to it. So there's still some relative strength I'm seeing here on Nvidia, or sorry, on AMD um, with the chip sector. And I do think that it will get some sympathy off Nvidia if it does break out. So look for that high 162 to possibly get um, touched here today. If this wants to, you know, even here in pre-market, it's at 159 right now, so we're already up above yesterday's candle. So there is definitely some some room to the upside here. We've already identified that gap way way up here um, that could potentially get filled. Um, now, will it get filled on the first attempt? I don't think so. I think that we're more likely to see 162 break, possibly even get a hang up at 163.50, um, and then target this area in the upper 160s overall. So that is what I'm looking at there on AMD. I'm going to give you some 30 minute levels for this one. So as of right now, we topped out in the morning at 159.50. We'll be looking at that as a breakout level to the upside to push the 162 wick. It looks like we have a lot of open liquidity from 160 to 162. Um, 
So I would, I'd really like to see that get tested here today, see what happens. And as far as downside, you could probably take a short around 157.40. 157.40 should break us down, um, back down towards these lows here at about 155, 155.35-ish. Um, so yeah, I see some, some nice potential there on that as well. The weekly candle for AMD still looks really good. Um, the last three weeks really ever since it bottomed out at 120 has just been pushing up again so i uh, would like to see would like to see this one continue on and you can see the longer term trend um we do still have room again into those upper 160s so i do like amd here moving forward but that's going to be about it guys i don't want to you know take up too much of your time but uh, obviously, if you did like the video, if you liked what you saw here and you're learning something here every day, that's the goal of this. So please do hit that like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think, uh, what your opinion is on some of these I went over. Always love to hear some constructive criticism as well. Um, and of course, if you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and really, really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Should be tomorrow. Um, and we're going to start pushing out some more content here soon outside of just this normal morning breakdown. I want to start looking at other individual stocks. So look out for some polls on my page um, that might start popping up, you know, to get your guys' opinions because uh, I do value it. But nonetheless, guys, hopefully you have a good day. Kill the market. If you're in the Discord, message me, comment. Uh, let me know if you guys need any help with anything. And if you're not in the Discord, click that link below because you need to be in there. It's a good community. We've got great people in there, great mentors. Don't sleep on the opportunity while it's at a reasonable price tag. So, yeah. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace.